How many legs do you have? I have three legs. Two actually. The third one. Guys, welcome to the first ever Q&A session with me. Let's call it Ask Creative Sab. We hit 10k subscribers quite recently and I'm super glad and super thankful and grateful to every single one of you guys for supporting me all through these years. The goal is 100k, so let's get it. So I asked you guys to send me a bunch of questions that you want answered and I got a shit ton of questions from you guys. First of all, from Discord. What questions do you ask your clients to know if it's a commission you like to do? First of all, I'd like to know the scope of the project. What exactly am I going to be achieving in this project? Is this something that I currently do? Is this something that I've done so many times that I can predict how long it will take me, all the people I'll need, all the assets I'll need? Secondly, I'd like to know who are the people in charge of the project. Who are the final sayers? Like, who are the decision makers in this project? How many people decide if the project is done? Because if we are not clear on that, you can be done with the project and the client says, Ugh, I asked my husband and my husband was like, he doesn't like the green, let's change it to red. How does your husband come into this, <laughs> right? And obviously the budget, like is this a budget I work with? Is this comparable to the kind of projects I've been doing in the past? And also vibes, honestly, like the way they speak, the way they address you, are they respectful? The company culture, is this something you'd like to be a part of? Are they the kind of people you would love to work with on a long-term basis? After finishing a commission, is there anything you do to get your clients to potentially want to rehire you or refer you to others? Actually, the main thing I do here is to deliver spectacular work blow your client's mind over deliver if the deliverable is a 30 second video send them a 30 second video plus five seconds calls plus extra five steals right just impress them everything you do during the project will decide whether the client will come back to you or not right every the entire experience the entire customer experience you are giving them so all this will determine whether the clients would want to hire you in the future or refer you to others when you actually truly blow their minds it's not even a question right they would refer you but something you, you could do is to ask them right after the project or like a week after a project or something ask them if you have someone in your connection that would need my services and you kindly refer me to them or something yeah if you actually impress them they will actually do it for you i saw your reel about price and costs but how do you know how much profit you would set for the project i think the way i found that personally right is from experience from all the projects i've done yeah i looked at how much i spent in terms of effort in terms of working with people and paying them paying for assets and all that in total the difference is what your profit is you first have to know how much you are spending as cost before you figure out your profit a lot of people have different opinions about this but it depends on you right you can do a hundred percent profit or like 200 percent of the total profit if you spend hundred dollars doing a project or a thousand dollars working on a project and you know your clients can happily afford a thousand five hundred or a thousand 800 or 2000 why not go for it you get the profit from it right you're a business person how does your studio look like and how many hours do you work daily uh for the studio if you guys actually want a studio tour just let me know in the comment section sav i want you to do a studio tour and if a lot of people like the comments i would actually do it on average i spend like between two to eight hours working in a day two to ten hours depends on how busy i am and sometimes i want to focus on myself right focus on like working out or like my mental health so just relaxing i won't spend a lot of time working there are sometimes that i'm probably very close to a deadline or the workload is just so much or something and i have to really put in the effort any tips for post-production like how to improve your render in post for me i'm not a big fan of compositing right personally i don't do a lot of compositing probably because uh i'm not super skilled at it so i try as much as possible to get my render popping from the 3d software in davinci resolve i mostly do color correction like color grading so making the product pop making it increasing the contrast making it very shiny today's generation uses phones more than they use laptops so i guess from that it makes sense that they see ads on phones more than they see ads on laptop so what do you think about vertical ads in my opinion depending on where you are distributing the video that's what will determine the aspect ratio you use if it's a youtube video you deliver a system by nine video right yeah, horizontal video if it's uh instagram deliver a vertical video so it actually depends for me for most of my clients i usually deliver a vertical video option i deliver the horizontal video just so they have different options i wouldn't want them to post a horizontal video on ig it's not native right it's better to have them vertical where do you find music for your ads I use Envato Elements. I wonder why they have not sponsored me now. I think I should send them an email. Uh, the reason why I use them, even though they are not the best when it comes to music, but they have a ton of other options, a ton of stuff. Images, uh, 
graphic elements stock videos just a lot of things right and it's just on a subscription i know there is atlas.io uh epidemic sound but envato elements gives me access to really really good music but the thing is you have to spend the time searching you have to sit there scrolling scrolling page by page to you find what really works before i got envato i used ncs yeah no copyright sound on youtube i don't know if their sounds are actually no copyright they have remixes of a lot of popular songs so if they don't have copyright on those songs you can use them another good option is youtube studio if you have a youtube channel you can create a youtube channel in like two seconds right if you have a youtube channel just go on studio and you see audio library there is a ton of music there that you can use for your videos but the thing is they are not bangers right they are not crazy super sounding heavy drop kind of music but they are good enough right until you can get envato or athletes or epidemic sound okay on to youtube what deliverables do you generally provide to the clients do you ever provide the blend files or multiple sizes of the finished video okay i just touched on this a little bit yeah i provide whatever they ask for which is the horizontal video sometimes vertical video then me personally would just provide like an extra option like images or steals from that project when the project is done without them even asking for it but sending them the blend file i do not do that except they ask for it and then if you ask for it before the project starts i'm going to put a premium on the price because it's my uh, property my intellectual property from my contract but then for most of my clients they don't actually care they just want me to deliver and send it to them what is your sound design workflow for client work do you search audio before or after animation is done i also use envato elements for sound effects for sound effects they are really really good really good compared to music right so search for whatever you want um, clanking glass wooden heads punches whatever screams just go there you'd see it is cinema 4d better in the long run as its main focus is motion graphics and has a lot of tools to make better motion graphics quickly i actually believe it's not determined by the software but who is using the software right you can create really spectacular work with whatever software 3dx max or maya or blender right but cinema 4d makes things easier that's what i've discovered i have a lot of friends that use cinema 4d right so it makes these things easier you can do the same thing in blender right but it's going to take a lot of time and it's going to be less procedural but cinema 4d just makes it a lot easier so if you are very sure right you want to commit to a 3d software for motion graphics and yeah you can you can make the commitment it's just like any other commitment you test it out you see that it works I make the commitment for it but you have to be sure that that is the direction that you are going because it's paid compared to blender how much should i give a price for a blender animation and how much for mockups bro i can't tell you how much <laughs> i can't tell you how much you charge man you have to determine that by yourself how can you determine that i suggest you go on freelancer.com go on upwork.com check out fiverr check out the guys that are the best of the best right the guys that are actually putting up top works right and see how much they charge look at their work and see how much they charge even what they are showing off as their work is similar to what you are putting out or what you can put out what is in your portfolio you can charge as much as them or even more right what's your approach to finding new clients i don't think i've done any code outreach like reaching out to clients via email or dms or whatnot i'm more about what i'm doing right now i'm putting myself out there creating content sharing my work talking making sure people see my face so whenever they need my project or a project that i can handle they think of me first that has always been my strategy so at some point in the future i might decide to start emailing clients or paying someone to email clients but i don't do that right now where do you find assets models textures music sound effects that are available for commercial use again vato elements these guys should sponsor this video come on <laughs> i've been using them for a long time right and that's why i find most things you mentioned but for models and textures I use CC0 textures. I use uh, texturelib.com. And uh, for models, mostly I use CG Trader. I buy a lot of models from CG Trader if I need to. But first of all, I search for their free versions. If they have a free model, I grab it ASAP. But if they don't have, then I search for what I want and I buy it. Who inspires you? What is better for you, office or work from home? Who is your favorite blender? How many questions? God damn. Who inspires me? Huh. Funny enough, people that inspire me are not exactly. 3d artists right i don't find inspiration from 3d artists most of the people that inspire me right now are businessmen they're people that are running companies and making money from it right they are delivering solutions that are helping the world in some way right and they are able to build something for themselves so that people that inspire me because i want to build something for myself here yeah, i want to look back 10 years from now and say yes i built that it took a lot of sweat and tears but I built that so that's basically the kind of person that inspired me people like alex homozi mangazi uh 
Chris Doe. Yeah, Chris Doe is a is in the design space. He inspires me a lot. As regards office versus work from home, I have been working from home for the longest time. For a short period, I was working in a workspace, like a co-working space, going out and coming in. But after a while, I set up my studio, so I don't need to go out to work from an office space or whatnot. Who is my favorite Blender artist? My favorite artist when it comes to 3D CG, MGB Core, or is it MBG Core? Yeah, check out his Instagram. He's, he's a crazy guy, but he doesn't use Blender. He uses Cinema 4D for his very realistic renders. Uh, for product stuff, cool stuff, Sikani Solomon. Sikani also uses Cinema 4D. <laughs> Who is my favorite Blender artist? Ian Hubert. Ian Hubert is my favorite Blender artist of all time. And Peter Franz. Ian Hubert is a crazy guy, right? He's like the Blender guy. He, he does impossible things with Blender. And Peter Franz is a very freakishly talented bro. Come on, that guy is very, very talented when it comes to technical abilities and using the software to create really artistic stuff. Check out Peter Franz. Is it easy for you to move to a new version of Blender? Actually, I try as much as possible not to upgrade my Blender version until there is something specific I need from the updates. There is something about, you know, companies that are building the softwares, pushing frequent updates. Sometimes when they fix something, something else is broken. And what might be broken might be very integral to the way I work. Basically, I take my time. I don't just rush into it. How did you learn Blender? It's so hard and complicated. I know, right? <laughs> like, I basically know like 5% of Blender. Actually, I believe I know very, a very small portion. My strategy was to focus on a specific aspect and get good at it. Get good at rendering products. Get good at making products look good, right? So what I did was to focus on product animation and learn as much as possible and also practice as much as possible in fact i was practicing more than i was learning it i don't watch a lot of tutorials i don't see how it helps guys by watching a ton of tutorials right go and create projects that is what actually makes you good honestly i got good really fast because i was delivering projects personal project this is not client stuff i look at something i think is cool i try it out and i deliver it over and over and over again five seconds projects 10 seconds project you will get good find people that are also working on projects with you so they can help you out and you can help them out it's a communal thing that is why i have a community join my discord today the link is in the bio there are people that are learning like you they would love to help you out right if there is something that's confusing you just go there hey i tried to do this it doesn't work if i'm available i would reply if made by own guys available you will reply whoever is in the community that is available at that moment if they have knowledge about it they will reply how to achieve a good light just like your last work for lys product it will be great if you share. I covered this in my light animation video. To be very honest, I don't think I do anything different. Find an HDR that's good. Use your three point lighting one BK light, one fuel light, one backlight. And I also put a point light close to the background so it lights up. I don't like my background being just a very flat color, right? The center or the edge should be more lit than the rest of the background. So put a highlight somewhere, put shadows, make it interesting. Watch my light animation tutorial. I talked about the shadow thing, I thought about a lot of things there. If you want to learn how to diffuse your light, if your light is looking too sharp on reflective products, check out Made by Omkar tutorial. I actually use it in one of my projects. Let's check out a couple questions from IG. Any advice on how to find high paying clients for beginner? You would either have to be very lucky or very well positioned, like have a network of a lot of people that are doing really well and they just send you high paying clients, right? It's hard to be a beginner, be an actual beginner and high paying clients will come towards you. There is a reason why they find this very skilled, very highly branded people, right? So what I would advise is for you to focus on your skills and your branding. Be very good that they can't ignore you. Everywhere that they can find you, let it look spectacular. What are the ways a content creator earns? AdSense is one, sponsorship is another one, and selling your product is the third one. That is what I know of, right? Um, you can earn from AdSense if you're on YouTube, right? Just grow your channel to the point where you can turn on monetization. Selling your products, things that are useful to your audience, sell it to them. If they actually need it, they can buy it and you make money from that and also helping sponsors advertise their own services or products. How can I learn 3D animation and what applications do you use for yours? I use Blender. Uh, how can you learn? Come to my YouTube channel. So guys, that has been the end of this Q&A session. I don't know when I'll do another one next, but manage this one. Please leave a like on this video. I am trying guys. I am uploading consistently now. Please like the video. So guys, I'll catch you in the next video. I'll catch you in the next Q&A session. Until then, Peace.